Now we need to create a way to add space objects to our OW add space object view controller to capture the information users entering into the text fields. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to import and we're going to do this actually into our header file because we're going to use this in just a minute in our header file. We'll see where uh, in our next video, but we're going to import OW space object and this will allow us to create OW space objects inside of the OW add space object view controller.m as well as to define things in our header file. So it's a hint that we're going to be using this in our header file in just a little bit. So in OW add space object view controller, let's define a helper method here. And we're going to call this, this method is going to return an OW space object. And notice I had care star since it's an object. Let me add a few returns here so we have a little bit more space to write some, our method as well. And this method is going to return new space object. It's going to be the name of our method. We're going to add some curly braces here and add a few more returns. So we have a little bit of space to write some code here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an OW space object. So let's give this a variable name, added space object. And let's allocate some memory for it and let's initialize it. And let's set up the properties of uh, a space object. So we can say added space object dot name is equal, oh, not, not dot new, dot name is equal to self dot name text field dot text. And we can set up our nickname next. So we can say uh, added space object dot uh, nickname is equal to self dot nickname text field dot text. And let's set up the diameter next. So we can say added space object dot diameter is equal to, and we're going to have to do a conversion here since the diameter text field is going to take some text, but we need to convert it to a float. We're going to say self dot diameter text field dot text, and we're going to call the method float value to convert it to a float. So we can set it equal to our diameter. And next, let's set up the temperature. So we're going to say added space object dot temperature is equal to self dot temperature text field dot text. And again, we'll call the method float value on it. And let's say added space object dot number of moons is equal to self dot um, number of moons text field dot text. And we'll call the method int value on this. And Let's finally add our interesting facts. So we can say added space object dot interesting fact is equal to self dot interesting fact text field dot text. And oh, we actually don't need a method call on this, so I don't need my braces here. And why don't I need a method call here? Because we're not doing any conversion. We're actually just going to set the text, which is an end of string, equal to our interesting fact. And finally, I need to return my added space object, so added space object.